I know my shower is a place where I commune with spirit. That's really interesting. Can I just say something about that? When we take a shower, the water actually immediately cuts all electromagnetic ties that we have to pretty much everything. So as we're moving about our day, especially if we're empathic, such as Trisha Carr is you know, one of our resident empaths, and um, she teaches about how empaths tend to absorb energy. We're so sensitive because we're feeling all the time. Well, some of that information is coming through the mechanism of what we in Hawaii call aka cords, just all these a spider web of, of cords coming into the experience and causing us to feel and to really to take energetic impacts. Well, when you get into a shower, all of those cords are cut immediately. All of them are severed. Now, when you step out of the shower, those can reattach, especially if they're active and you're engaged in a situation or a relationship that's going to be reattaching. But if you become intentional about that and do something, for example, like Ho'oponopono, which is a ritual where you sever all these cords and you stay intentional about it, well, then you can be free of a lot of this overwhelming energy that's coming in at this time, especially for light workers and especially for empaths. So it's interesting to me, Nicole, long story long, that you get into the shower and really start cleaning the body, mind, and spirit and getting rid of all of these other connections in order to commune more fully with spirit. That makes a lot of sense. But you went on to say that, after learning about different guides, I suspect it's my higher self that comes to me with messages in the shower. Makes sense. This past year, I've been seeing gray squiggles in front of my eyes while in the shower. They move. It's almost like dust particles, but not any idea what these are. And I mentioned that I thought that they were floaters. (laughs) Um, To me, it's like go to the likeliest answer first. And if it's not that, then you can start looking into the paranormal. It sounds to me like it's just floaters across the eye. And I gave you a link to go check it out. Otherwise, Um, If it's not floaters, then that gray, squiggly, kind of clear movement can be indicative of spirit presence. Uh, When I was first stepping fully back into my clairvoyance as an adult, I would see things move in, in the air before me. And I often describe it kind of like predator, like when the predator's in the trees, he's invisible, but you can sort of see the pixels, you can see the movement, the clear translucent silhouette really. I would start to see that, and in in the beginning it was just lines, I didn't see the full silhouette, it was just movement, and I could perceive it. As I continued to work with my abilities and my faculties, and working with my clairvoyance specifically, those sort of translucent squiggles, if you will, began to take form and began to take shape. Now, often, as it begins to take shape, and if you start working with it, Nicole, you'll also see sparks of light or little pinpricks of light that take place also within the silhouette of whatever is emerging. That is just a light being, and you're seeing these flashes of light. So it's either floaters, (laughs) probably floaters, but if not, then that's also something I've experienced and perhaps somebody else can speak to that as well. This sort of moving in the air, the silhouette that's taking form that starts with just that weird squiggly movement of lines. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallinecompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.